So this is VIL, very important line. And in a moment I'll be talking about this line, but first we have to talk about the support lines. This is some kind of resistance line, but we have to talk about support lines. In today's video, we're gonna talk, just try to find out what's like the lowest the price can go, where is the price a uh, good time to buy and stuff like that, and how far we're gonna see. So in today's video, we're only gonna talk short term, one hourly, four hourly, right? We're not gonna go into daily, weekly, and monthly. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's start. So basically, this is where we are right now. We can delete this. We can remove this line. We're gonna get back to the line and I'll tell you how to find these kind of lines. Uh, right now, we wanna see actually what's happening down here. Like, where's the support? Why did this stop here? Why didn't it, uh, it uh, go further down? Uh, stuff like that. So we're gonna draw all kinds of support lines right now and see where that brings us. Like, we're gonna start with this week down here because it hits a lot of weeks on the way, right? So this kind of sport one, but you got a lot of uh, action down here. So we, we just gonna try to find ballpark area where we can uh, expect the price to go. Like the lowest part where the price can go. And we're gonna use all kinds of weeks, all kinds of weeks. We just, we're just gonna make the area like really nice. And we're gonna use the full bars as well here. And up here we're gonna use i'm gonna actually use this 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 week here over here just formed so we're gonna use that week over there see it almost touches this uh, part over here so uh, yeah uh, let's make uh, there's maybe there's yeah see here touches almost here so it's okay it's okay we just want to try to find the ballpark area of where the price is gonna go uh, this week just formed. Can we, can we draw any more lines? Are there any more important lines uh, to be drawn that we haven't? I, I think it's all good. I mean, we can draw from the top to, into the bottom and then it's gonna go really far down there. But the most important one, I think, is to use this week over here and this week over here, down here, that's it. Yeah, so you see a lot of support lines on the bottom here and that's actually where they are undecisive area is as long as it doesn't get in here we good once it get in here we actually don't know what's gonna do so we're gonna wait and if it gets uh, below uh, these lines over here then uh, you kind of have to think about uh, what you're gonna do from then on so that's the area right right here i'm gonna draw it up from here like something like that so what's the price going, going from top here it goes from the 1335 down to 12,802, so 1335 to 128, uh, that's the ballpark area of the bearish uh, area. So if it gets in there, like you do you, I do me, but uh, as long as it keeps above the area, even as, uh, um, yeah, as long as it keeps, we're gonna use this week over here, maybe this week over here. Yeah, that's, that's the, when it starts breaking the supports, you're gonna wanna think. So that's some kind of support, right? So where's the resistance line and where is the VIL line? So I'm calling it VIL line, like very important line. Why is it very important? Like there's a lot of weeks and a lot of stuff doing, but when you draw this line, you know, uh, here, oh wait, I have to use the magnet for this. Uh, this line here like oh, why didn't you use some kind of other weeks, you know? Yeah, but this one hits it here hits it here and hits the top over here, you know So it hits it three times uh, as expected. So uh, it's very good line. We can make other lines doesn't matter this one also is a Resistance line and it will be hit sooner or later and then yeah, you get to the Third resistance line. So we got to break one resistance, two resistance, three resistance to actually be bullish. So what I want to say to you, if you want to see when Bitcoin is going to be bullish again, it's above, what price? Above 13,524. Once it gets above 13,524, we are bullish again, especially if it closes above that price as well, because it hits this line, uh, these weeks down here. And these weeks under here are really, really important. That's what I want to talk in this video. When you get this kind of uh, action, uh, let me say, when you get uh, uh, price like does this like, U like other way U shape, right? The, there are a lot of wicks down here that forms, and these wicks, for whatever reason, they make really good resistance lines, uh, especially in the last part of the of the move. Uh, these lines over here form like really good uh, resistance line when they actually form. So watch for these lines, and I'm gonna show it to you what I mean. Uh, we're gonna zoom in for this just to find another area where this happened uh wait 
we're gonna go a little bit down here and here's one of those uh, moments and you can see here the, it tweaks down like a lot of times right and you can use all kind of wicks everywhere wherever you want and just try to find leaks uh, the right moments the the expected uh the expected uh, uh the expected action uh, i don't know what to call it but uh, the big wicks are important uh, this one over here is important it doesn't actually hit anything but but it's on the lower part right uh and then you have this line over here it's a really clear line you can see it with your eyes so we're going to use this line over here and it hits also the down part so if you use this uh bottom uh this start over line here and this here it will cross right up here and that's some kind of bottom you can call it a bottom like but it didn't actually hit it hit this wick down here right again hit it hit it hit it hit it and then wick down here as well on the four hour eh? so that's kind of confirmation that line is good so there are all kind of these wicks on the bottom side of these u-shaped uh, forms or uh, part pot patterns as you want to call them they're important uh these as well one two three times and it wait i just moved something uh, now it's kind of getting blurry because there are too many lines to follow so maybe i should just change color for this see this purple line uh, it goes all the way here once it broke the here it started going up it held it at uh, resistance over there all kinds of patterns uh, this so uh, this one here the top also the top the bottom here where can i use the bottom where is the, there's the bottom now watch the watch the line watch the line it goes all the way up here can you see it maybe i should zoom out now now i just like it goes on top of these this year see here how the, it was resistant tried to break it went back under it broke it went back under it tried to break it went back under it broke it went back under it tried to break it again went back so a lot of times it tried to break actually this line over here as we can see here 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 again all the time trying to break this uh, purple line so the wicks under these u shapes are really important now we're going to clean everything because you cannot actually do any technical analysis that many lines so what i said was we have some kind of support down here i just draw it on the rim like it was between here and here right so uh that's some kind of support uh i think it might actually go into it and then hit the why it doesn't want to move the magnet man the magnet messes so many, much many things but around here when it starts getting into this area down here it's uh well this is uh, this is two six we said two eight two eight we said two eight right how did we say two eight this is on four hourly we were watching the one hourly yeah because the the uh, the lines were actually yeah the lines were on the side so if if we were to use horizontal lines as uh, supports, then we have to use all of these lines as well, right? And you have to kind of do that as well. So the lowest price actually goes down to 12.6 then. 12.6, okay? So from up here, uh, from up here, it goes down to 12.6. So yeah, that's, that's the support area once it breaks 12.6 there is no turning back okay that that's the last thing 12.6 was 12.6 12.6 we're gonna put it up here 12.5 12, let's put up here uh, okay let's make 12.6 god damn okay put like this 12.6 okay it's not all the way there but it's there 12.6 is good so once it goes uh, down there it's actually pretty bearish but we i don't think we're gonna go down there i think we're actually gonna go up i was bearish uh, bullish yesterday i'm still bullish I like build bullish and then of course you have to watch uh, the uh, this line over here it has to break this line first once it breaks this uh, resistance lines so over here it's gonna uh, try to break in the second little resistance line uh, line right somewhere somewhere there and then there you got the third resistance line and then the fourth right and once it breaks all these lines over here uh, it can be really really bullish and i think we're gonna uh, try to test uh, go above the 14,000 and uh, test some higher higher levels before we actually have a decent correction down here uh, i just think is that there are too many things that happening right now with bitcoin so why not why not okay let's clean up a bit over here and just look at moving averages 
this is on the four hourly i can see no this is one hourly and i see one hourly is still holding like i said yesterday video uh, the one hourly is holding to 200 moving average the purple line down here 200 moving average very important very important and 200 moving average are also going to spot the 50 moving average the yellow line on the four hourly so and that one is also holding so uh, as long as it holds the 50 or the 200 on hourly all good and it, i can show you on the one hourly again you see here held it here held it here and now it's trying to hold here if it's hold here we're gonna get that uh, our third step that we actually want this one one step two steps and we want to get, get a third step of uh, 14 15,000, and i think that would be like some kind of top for this time and then we can with some kind of correction i think it's too early for correction not quite sure but i think it's too early especially like this would be bear, very bearish in any scenario like goes down like we should we should have gone a lot more down than just this you know so the fact that we didn't it gives me hope hope for the future hope for the future that's gonna not gonna go down there and also today i read this is not a news channel but i'm just saying you know somebody actually bought uh bitcoin on uh, through paypal today for 100 dollars i just saw uh, i don't know if it was the moon or i'm on crypto or i don't know who was posting the news uh, but i saw the news and i think that's really bullish that shows that we are there adoption is coming this is gonna go fast soon just know that and you know guys me like all of you i want to make it you know so we gotta follow this see what we can do with this and stuff like that so just remember support down here uh, there are some kind of resistance line and uh, the i would say like right now the price is at 1365 i don't think it's gonna break the 1335 support no where was it? 1335 yeah 1335 i don't think it's gonna break i think it might actually hold. it's breaking it right now right now it's breaking you see this just wow man i can't even make a video man it's breaking it's wanna go down this one is wanna go down it's gonna it's gonna break it. nah. anyways if it holds the 200 it's not gonna get in if it's get in we're just gonna hope it's not falling down but, uh, below 12.6 and if it does do that well we're gonna be bullish after the correction right so that said that said that's the video that's the video for today yeah I don't know. Wanna see the daily? Wanna see the daily? See this. This is twenty moving averages. Is a twelve two. Uh, we need one, two. You know, like we need like three days to get back to the to the price for this to move higher up. At least the way I see it, like three days. Okay. Well, what's happening? Three days. Monday. Yeah, Monday. Yeah, maybe, maybe next week. Maybe next week we're gonna move. Maybe. I'm not saying yes. No. Maybe.